So I have this like promotional one page site um, that I built for my starter kit. And honestly, like for some reason I made some changes and now like an image isn't showing up. I try to redeploy, it's failing on railway. And for what I need, just like one page, like literally just one page, I feel like using Next.js is a little bit overkill. Technically I could bring an Astro, maybe that would be better, but I've been kind of vibing with Hono. And so in this video, I'm literally just gonna like live code and kind of just talk about some stuff. There's really no direction in this video at all. So uh, you can thumb it down if you want to. Um, but I did start working on a basic template. I pulled some files over from that Parabola project that I abandoned from three days ago that I worked on. But the idea is I still want Tailwind. I still want to be able to use some JSX. And Hono is pretty cool because you can actually like define TSX files and it'll just work. It'll just render it. Um, a little bit of difference is you don't use class name. You just use class like normal uh, HTML, which is nice. And I brought over a Docker file for basically running this and railway if I want to. So I think hopefully we can kind of make some progress and you can kind of just watch me live code a little bit. So for right now, I can't access my app. I don't know if I'm like not running it properly. Uh, let's go to the docs. Go to getting started. Let's go to bun. And you have to export. I think that's the issue. I'm not exporting my app. So if I export my app and then go over my local host, here we go. And now it shows hello world. And we could start actually trying to pull over some of the JSX from my other starter kit page, which, um, you know, I'm doing the, uh, the React Next.js type of stuff. So Let's just find the, the landing page and let's just grab this. Like we just want the coming soon page. And honestly, like, let's just grab all this stuff, the whole fragment, paste it into our main and just kind of go from there. So let's just do this. Don't need a fragment anymore like this. Okay. Lines coming soon header. Let's try to find some of these things that we're missing. Okay, where's that defined? That's defined up here. Let's just inline this stuff. Like I feel like there's no need to have an external component when it's like not doing any type of abstraction at all. So I'll just do that. Coming soon header. Let's look at this code. YOLO, let's just inline this too. I'll put it right here. There we go. We got links. We don't want no links. So let's do a tags. Like the good old browser intended. And then images, we're just gonna do image. Mode toggle. I think I had dark mode with the other page. We're going to get rid of that. Um, what else can we bring over? Do we got any more red in this file? We do. Newsletter form and an image. So we can change that to an image. And for the newsletter form, that could potentially be a component. Uh, we'll have to figure out how to get this all set up. So let's just grab all this code. And then we'll, we're going to put it... I don't know. I'll just make a components here. Components. Paste it in. Now this is going to be a hot mess because it's using shad CN under the hood. And so like, I don't think I really need to do that much complicated stuff for a sign up page. So it changed my mind. Let's just delete that. And we're going to paste the form in directly here. Let's keep it as simple as possible. On submit can go away. We're going to just do labels here. We'll do inputs. Um, don't need a loader button anymore. And yeah, on submit. So this would not work with JSX um, and also class name. Anywhere we have class name, we got to refactor to just use class. And hopefully that's good. Let's go to our app, refresh. Yeah, now we're cooking. Look at all this awesome stuff. Now I think the issue with the styling is that we don't have Tailwind loaded in. So unfortunately, you got to kind of get your hands dirty with all how this is all set up. So if we go to our server here, we have all of our static assets at a slash static location. And I have my styles here. So I think I should be able to go to localhost static styles a CSS and it's not found, not found bro. Okay. Um, why is that not found? I'll have to figure that out. I know something that will work though. If I just provide a path like directly to this, uh, styles, like styles at CSS. If I just say like styles CSS, I bet you this will work now. I don't know why I need to look into that. Something weird going on there. But now I got all my CSS uh, that's kind of compiled from Tailwind. And to use it, let's just go to the page and look at this. We can just put a link up here directly to our styles. And now if I go to localhost 300 or 3000, it, we're making some progress, okay? Second thing, we're missing some icons, right? We're missing some images. And so what we could potentially do, go over to our public folder here and 
yeah, I guess I could just copy. This is what we need, fave icon. Let's just grab all this stuff right now. And um, I guess I will make a static folder at the end of the day. And then we can go back to our Hono app. And then we're going to go ahead and say use. Uh, let's try it again. Let's try it again. I don't know why it can't seem to find this stuff. But if I just put root like this, will that find it? Static. Definitely need to change this again. Let's try this out. Static BG. Okay, so it can find the uh, it can find the things now. That's good. Now I still need to figure out why it can't find the static files. Like when I do dist, it just couldn't seem to find this. So I guess what we could do instead is like when I compile my my tailwind, I could just put it in my static directory. Uh, maybe that's good enough. So let's go to package JSON and let's change this from dist. We'll go static. Okay, we'll delete the disk folder. Awesome. And then just restart this real quick. I should put it in the static folder here. And then in our main index, let's go here and we're going to change it to static styles. Is that going to work now? Check it out. Cool. So why isn't this image loading? It should be loading this image. Computer JPEG. Okay, so the issue is that it's probably just trying to go here. I need to go slash static computer JPEG. There we go. Um, there should be a banner here. Is there another image we can look for? Here it is. So I'll just say static. All right, there we go. Looks pretty good. The minor tweaks. We got to figure out why this text is all like not white on this background. So like we could find text, find it where it is set to like a darker color. Honestly, some of this dark mode stuff, like we're not going to dark, do dark mode anymore. We're just going to keep it. Like we're going to force it to be dark mode. So I have some light mode stuff in here. I'm just going to remove that because I just want the force this to be like my dark mode theme. I think it just looks better. So anywhere we're doing dark, like text white, we're just going to default it. Just use text white. So far it's looking pretty good. I mean, there's some things that I think I'm missing. Uh, so like, for example, there's no background here. And before we had some background, let's find the what am I working on, working on. And this used to have a background. I wonder where that went. I see a BG repeat and I see a BG paper. So I think um, on my tailwind, we probably had a, a paper thing to find. Yep, here it is, background image paper. So we should probably go to tailwind here. And that was in theme extend. So theme extend, background image, what is space, so black plus. I don't know what these are. I guess we can just keep them for right now and uh, refresh the page. And I think we should probably just at least put them as a static directory. There, that showed up. And um, yeah, I mean, it's looking pretty close to what it was before. Only difference is that we don't have the footer. So I think I should bring the footer back. Find the footer somewhere. And honestly, let's just keep this simple. We have all these links. We should probably just refactor these A tags. Honestly, I won't lie. It feels kind of nice just getting rid of like non-standard HTML stuff. Also have lines. What the heck is lines? Oh, maybe that's why I had it abstracted away. Um, I think lines used to be this. So what we could do, luckily, we can say function lines. We could just return this. All right. And I believe that was like up here. I'm not sure what the lines are. Let's just double check. Are we doing this right? Let's go to the main landing page. And coming soon, lines was defined where? is inside the section. So we got to put it inside there. I think this also means that yeah, it'll work there now. Okay. Um, so we're missing some icons. I think we have like an icons directory in this one. And we could just snag all those things over. We'll go to source. We'll go to components, I guess. Paste that in icons. Um, honestly, some of the stuff, I don't know where it should come from. So any for right now, why not? There we go. Now we're professional. Let's just go ahead and import all these. And let's see what our uh, landing page looks like. Let's go over here and refresh. I need to get live reload working. Um, right now when I save a file, it doesn't seem like it like reloads. Also, I don't like how when you scroll up, there's like white. I think we need to change the entire background of the app. So like, let's find the body. 
and let's just say BG black. I think that should fix the issue there. All right, do these all work? They seem like they do. Here's X, GitHub, Discord, privacy policy. I don't even have one. So honestly, like this stuff down here, like you can't even register for this promo page. So do you really need a privacy policy, a terms of service and a license when you can't create an account or do anything? I don't know. So what I'm gonna do is just delete them. You guys can tell me in the comments. I think that's good enough. So basically, this is what the site used to look like if we were to compare um, to the deployed app. And this is what it looks like now. Okay, obviously there's some stuff that I broke when trying to do some stuff um, and now it won't deploy. So now I am kind of curious why this is like looking so bad. Like I think we could just give it some padding of Y of two, padding X of two, rounded. Okay, um, probably some more width, so like min. There we go, give it some W4. I think I was using like Daisy UI on the previous one for like an input, and so it was like styling it for me already. Um, we're also missing a button, so we probably need to find that. Let's find where the newsletter component is. Uh, let's go here, newsletter form. Where's the button? I guess we deleted the button over here. So we could probably just grab a button. I guess say subscribe. Let's refresh this. Here we go. We got a button and we can give it a class. And we're just going to make it, uh, how do we do this over here? I think this is using some of this logic. Honestly, let's just make the button like this. Let's say text black. Let's just see how it looks like. Cool, and then we can say rounded. Why says subscribe like floating there? Let's do item center like that. There we go. Hey, you click it, it doesn't work. It doesn't do anything. Um, all right, I was gonna do some benchmarks against Next.js, but I don't think it's a fair comparison since my other app has a lot more stuff in it, like Fumadocs, and it has like more stuff under the hood. But let's just go ahead and see how long it takes to load locally on slow 3G with no caching. So go ahead and refresh this. It looks like it takes a total of 6.8 seconds. So if you do fast 3G, let's do it again. And it took almost two seconds. So I like how this, it's as minimal as you can potentially get, right? There's just an HTML file, there's some styles, and that's kind of what I'm going for. Like, I just want to get the most basic single page out there and have that deployed somewhere. So I'm going to wrap this video up. This video had no point other than for me to just like work on something. And now that I've actually worked on it, let's just go ahead and commit. I'm going to, I'm going to say initial commit for promo site. And uh, honestly, we could probably try to get this deployed out to Railway. Another thing I really like about this approach with using Bun and Hono is that like the app only takes 50 megabytes to run. So like if I go here, and create a new project and find that repo I just made, WC starter kit, deploy it. This should take like hopefully a minute to build and deploy and it'll use like 50 megabytes of memory, which I'll be charged like maybe 40 cents for the month to host it on railway. Um, my other Next.js applications, they go up to even like 400 megabytes of memory. Like they, I feel like there's like a memory leak going on with Next.js in terms of the image optimization stuff. So if you so if you're trying to squeeze out as little memory as possible in your Next.js VPS deployments, you have to go and turn off image optimizations because of the sharp library. I don't know, it's it's it's, it's weird. Let's go over here. I'm gonna call this uh, WC starter git promo page, promo site over here. All right, it's already done. 44 seconds and that thing is done. Now granted, this didn't even run successfully because I was pointing to the wrong thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and say uh, fix demand. All right, 38 seconds. Does this thing run? It looks like it should be running now. You can go to settings. Let's just go ahead and generate a domain here. I'll do 8080. Why is it 8080 actually? I don't think this is gonna work. Let's do this and see what happens. Yeah, I have a feeling I need to actually like put a port of 3000 here. Um, and then go to settings and I probably need to change this to something else. Let's change it to 3000.
By the way, code for this video will be in the description if you want to check it out. Uh, feel free to put a pull request if you want to improve it. I do want to add like live reload. I think it's missing live reload. So when I save a file, like it'd be nice if the, the page also refreshed for me. All right, there we go. It's up. It is cooking. Some issues. I got like Discord up here for some reason in the title. Um, that probably shouldn't be there. So like we can find the title and we can call it WDC starter it. Um, also, I don't know why I was saying um, Discord. It's kind of weird. Cool. So that's about it. Next steps are I'm going to go ahead and just finish this form. Uh, probably bring in Drizzle so that I can connect it and save it to Terso, which is where I'm collecting my newsletter stuff. And then also hook and resend so I can get my uh, subscription set up. And it'd be nice to add in like gzip or something. I'm sure Hano has like a gzip uh, compression type of thing. But overall, I mean, hope you guys enjoyed watching me fumble around doing this. Have a good day. Happy coding.